Hello! Welcome. It's Writing with Dev, episode number 13. It is great to see you. How are you? How are you feeling? Okay, first two minutes, I'd like to answer that question. How are you feeling? Two minutes. Twenty seconds. Great, that'll do. All right. Next two minutes, I'd like you to answer this question. What do you need more in your life? What do you need more in your life? I'm putting the timer on. It's serious. Get cracking. Two minutes. Fantastic, well done. I want you to have a think about the last time you experienced creativity or art. So, I want you to think about it as somebody who creates it, who makes it, but also somebody who consumes it. When's the last time you had a really creative or amazing artistic experience? Did you listen to some amazing music? Did you watch an incredible play? Did you do some gardening? Here we go. 
That's pretty creative. Did you paint a picture? Did you make a bookshelf like Bear made over here? Did you sew up a frock? Did you ice a cake? Did you listen to an amazing piece of music? I want you for the next 10 minutes to write about the last time you remember really having an incredible artistic or creative experience, either as a consumer, an audience member, a viewer, a reader, or as someone creating and producing these things. You've got 10 minutes and your time starts now.
Five more minutes left.
There we go. Well done. Terrific. In my Gunners Writing Masterclass, so if you're just joining in now, you probably might get more out of it if you go back to number one. I mean, apart from, of course, my magnificent rack, which is just here all the time for your viewing pleasure. And um, you might get more out of it because you might get a context of some of the stuff that I'm talking about. But anyway, if you're here, it's lovely to see you. So in my Gunners Writing Masterclass, so I thought I would run one of these Gunners Writing Masterclasses. And since 2014, I've had more than 6,000 people through and run about 400 classes. And now here I am online. It's, um, and it's great to connect with everybody. What I wanted to talk about was the fact that I get a lot of people who come to the class. So I get 30% beginners, 30% amateur, 30% prof 30% beginners, 30% amateur, 30% professional and 10% random, total random. Some people going, hey, I just love doing these things or I'm a fan of yours or I wanted to drag my mate along. Amateur is the middle one, which is always really interesting. Amateur comes from the French word amour, which means to love. So an amateur is someone who does something for love. So I hope that we're all kind of amateurs in a way. A lot of people who come are actually creatives in other fields. So they might be shoemakers, sculptors, designers, painters, songwriters. So there's often quite a lot of uh, creative cross training. So if you're into writing, um, I highly recommend that you keep your eyes open for other things, dance, uh, live nude modeling, either drawing the nude pe people or being the nude people. You might find that it really helps you get more out of your general creative practice if you start doing other things, even cooking, gardening, psychology, a whole lot of other ways of looking through the side of the prism of creativity and art can be a fantastic stimulus and insight into your own work. So one of my gunners, so her name is Vare Buchanan, V-A-I-R Buchanan. And my I came home and she had made this for me, this, this woman. Isn't she just divine. So I'd like you for the next five minutes to talk about this object. You can talk about making the object, about, about pottery, um, ceramics, textiles, or you could talk about her story. Who is she? What's she doing? What's her backstory? What's she going to do next? How did she come about I'd love to know what her name is. That's the most important thing. If any of you come up with a name, please let me know. So that's going to be your next five minutes. I would like you to write about this beautiful ceramic person, character, figure. You can write about who you think she is and how she got here or the process that made her. Okay, five minutes. I'll prop her in here. She's watching you. She's watching you all the time. She's watching you. All right, five minutes.
done. Terrific. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. I'm showing you a painting here by a guy called Eugene Von Nagy. He's a Melbourne artist. Uh, look him up. He's amazing and he sells art and I love his art. And I've known him since I was 20. And I bought this one because it reminded me of having boys, being a mother of little boys. So I'd love you to write something about this. So as you can see in it, we've got a dinosaur, some donuts and some sweets. There's mustics, tubes, milk bottles and lolly teeth. Okay, that's your last five minutes. Write something about the production of this artwork or one or some of the items in this artwork. Okay, five minutes. Two minutes. One minute.
Fantastic. You are brilliant. This is awesome. Just keep going. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget, we don't sing because we are happy. We are happy because we sing. So write yourself happy. And before I go, you need to be reminded, pull your finger out, get over yourself. Your excuses are bullshit. Uh, send me a message if you've got a particular writing question. I might be able to answer it here on the classes. I won't answer you um, personally because it's just too many. And uh, thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye.